Well, boys, I fucking sent her a little too fucking hard, but I really hope I. Oh, fuck! Hey, who made that? <laughs> this thing is delicious as fuck. <laughs> You take one of these, and you put one of these thingies on it. You grab it and run. And you shoot! <laughs> Whenever you complain of how much it costs to fill up your vehicle, remember there's always somebody out there that has it worse. The tank gotta have a hole in it. Oh, damn! Oh my god! Oh my god! Cause I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow I may buy myself a dining room set or this boba. What are you doing? Are you trying to burn the house down? Gary! No fires in the house! What are you doing? Why are you cooking marshmallows? Get out of the toilet! So what's your name? Where you from? What's your drink when you get drunk? What's your sign? What's your song? Sir, you know I pulled you over? I'm under the affluence of Inca Hall. Where'd you come from? That way. Where you headed? That way. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. You're going to jail. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? Drinking beer. All right, sir, you're going to jail with me. I'm going to take my cooler full of beer. Uh, so I'm kind of scared to take my glove off. Kind of fell down. Holy shit. So uh, Colin thought it would be a good idea to, you know, do a four-wheel drive boost launch uh, trying to race a Lambo. Well, this is what 60 PSI to the wheels looks like. Goddamn drive shaft fell out. Holy shit. Well, you get in your truck and you go down the road. Take your right foot and you put it on the floor. Going past school to a 95. Some kid's about to die. How to make sure people know you got a small dick. Number one, buy yourself a big fucking diesel pickup. Number two, put yourself some big old wheels and tires on it. Number three, make sure you get that motherfucker to blow a lot of black smoke. Number four, flip out your toe mirrors. Moose power! Hey, Chris, can you throw this in the sink for me? Yeah, I got you, man. Why would you do that? You said throw it in the sink. Here's why cars are better than girlfriends. Reason one, when this bitch has a breakdown, I know how to fix it. The only thing whining is the supercharger. She's a whole lot easier to handle. You can trade them in and they won't get pissed off. You know, in case you want the newer model. She'll get you from A to B and she won't drive you crazy. And they won't tell everybody your secrets. Keep them safely locked in the trunk. Big fucking hole in my fucking blanket. What is this? Oh, cool. The fucking cat's inside it. Hey, bud. What's up? Scanning for Mexicans. We've got a Mexican! Well, you get in your truck and you go down the road. Take your right foot and you put it on the floor. Going past school to a 95. Some kid's about to die. Public service announcement for all my truck drivers out there. If you go through a scale, don't hang a plastic donut out the window on a string and then tell them that you're fishing for cops. They don't think it's funny. I thought it was hilarious. And now I'm sitting here. God, I hope they use lube this time. Well, you get in your truck and you go down the road. Take your right foot and you put it on the floor. Going past school to a 95. Some kid's about to die. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100%. Still a piece of garbage. When you're at work and you realize you have the old Tim Hortons lids, but they don't fit your coffee cup, fucking mint. When you thought it was a good idea to wash your car yesterday and then you decide to drive Deerfoot and now it's dirty? Fucking man. 
is your truck an automatic? Do you wish it was a stick? Are you tired of the fact that it's a gutless piece of shit with the 13 speeds it has and it can barely haul my dick? It's an automatic. Be a snowplayer, they said. It will be fun, they said. Well, they're right. I'm having quite a bit of fun. Am I the only one who wants to paint a car or truck up like the General Lee, drive it around and see how many people I could piss off? Let's get it. airplane right there. <laughs> now something y'all won't believe this. Stop this guy for doing 81 in a 45 mile an hour zone. Got my car walked up. He's like, hey, if you let me go, I'll get you a nice energy drink. Happened right there. Now this here is my new racing truck now. And let me show you, I just installed a 900 horsepower nitrous kit on this son of a bitch. This thing will run two second quarter miles. Look at that shit. That there is just, well, if your nitrous system don't move around a little bit on you while you're going down the road, you got the wrong nitrous system. Weston, hmm, that's a propane can. Well, fuck it then. All right, sonny, this, this is the lesson of driving a stick shift. You go, wow, grind gears, pass, queer, spin a stick, hit your dick. Bam, bam. With me, and you'll be in a world of OSHA violation. Hey, boy, you know the speed limit here? 25, 30? No, it's 24, you son of a bitch. Why at 24? 24. 24 miles per hour. Take a look. You're fucked. You're going down, Chinatown. Your ass is grass, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mow that shit. All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. We're gonna drive nice and smart here. We are not gonna fuck around whatsoever. Everyone, pay attention. Let's get it. Hey, how you doing today? I got you for uh, speeding. Uh, do you have your license and registration? No, I think you were speeding, sir. You got me, man. Hey! What? Kids in back seat may cause accident. Accident in back seat may cause kids. No back seat equals no accidents. Single cap. If you're fucking happy, any motherfucking no one clap your motherfucking hands. If you're fucking happy, any motherfucker, no one's loving motherfucking hair, yeah, hands. If you're fucking happy, any motherfucker, no one, and you really motherfucker want a motherfucking show it. If you're motherfucking happy, any motherfucker, no one's loving motherfucking hands. When you stop in front of a semi truck and your trunk goes to your front seat, fucking man. When you get your rental car and you do it for a second time, fucking man. When you come to St. Louis and you park in the garage and all your tires are gone, fucking man. Story time. Let's sit in here for the story time. Okay, so I can barely fit in here. So go ahead and give this video a like for me sitting on all this glass and being cramped in here. So I'm not sure if all this is going to fit on one video or not. So my girlfriend and I were headed to Applebee's to meet all the friends and just hang out with them. And we went down a road where you go down a hill and then there's like two bumps in the road uh, at the bottom of the hill. I ain't sitting in there anymore. So the roads were wet and they could have been icy. I'm not sure. 
but we lost traction and the back end went sideways. So we went this way and then we fishtail back this way, went off the road, slid across the, somebody's front yard and smoked a giant pine tree. So I already put other wheels on it just so I can move it around. So this all isn't gonna fit in one video. So the part two is on my page and it'll be up right now.